Good morning, 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Wednesday, November 16, 2022. I'm T-Speaker 222 XRP Future Millionaire with the side bet on XLM and Future Digibyte OG. So I want to thank everybody for tuning in. We have an emergency situation going on this morning with a bunch of crypto lenders. I am fully liquidated even on my... Shot in the dark position on my leverage trade. I liquidated that as well. The, the the games and stakes are becoming too strong. And it was only like a $150 trade. That would have cost me maybe $50 at the most. Still cost me like 30 bucks. But I don't feel like sitting in there to a stop loss anymore. I don't feel like sitting in crypto at all. Even in a leverage trade. Unless it's in a short at this current time. Or unless something changes in the pattern formation. But when we have um, salt... Salt crypto lender salt pauses withdrawal, citing FTX impact. That's some breaking news this morning. Also, if you're part of this, Genesis has paused withdrawals. That's a breaking news story in the last several minutes. I seen it on Bloomberg when I first woke up. I'm doing my morning exercises. You know, I'm in my uh, what is today, 18th day of my weight training, and about 60% done with the workout right now. But I wanted to get this update in, um, in between sets. I think I've done seven out of my 11 workouts. So, but Genesis is suspending client withdrawals from for lending arm citing FTX impact. And also BlockFi is suspending withdrawals as they're mulling over bankruptcy with SALT. So SALT, Genesis, and BlockFi this morning all are pausing withdrawals. Our, our withdrawals are policy. So you won't be able to get your money off of the exchange. And I'm just telling you, once again, I've been talking about this. Crypto.com, already one time this week, has paused download, or, uh, withdrawals. And I came out a couple days ago on TikTok and YouTube and said, hey, and it was, it was about a week ago. And I said, Crypto.com is going to be one of the next to go. Now there's worries that crypto.com customers where it could follow FTX. The CEO tries to reassure them everything's fine. But six days ago, crypto.com actually paused withdrawals. So everything is in fact not okay. And I'm going to show you the truth. I'm not dealing with bullshit. I'm telling you what's going on with the crypto exchange. And we're going to get into the charts. See, even Binance, Voyage, they all have exposure to FTX. So... It's a nightmare. This is a nightmare. So I'm not going to go through and read all this stuff because you guys can see it. It's a nightmare this morning. It is an absolute nightmare with the possibility of these exchanges going down. Withdrawals have been disabled from BlockFi, Genesis, and SALT exchanges this morning that I've found. So for that reason and that reason alone, I can't sit in the crypto market and even try to attempt and theorize about a leverage trade you know so i'm gonna sit back i'm gonna relax i'm liquid on uphold got over 1330 dollars on big guy i can take out one thousand dollars i still have to play through 300 and something dollars on the trading funds that i won from the 800 dollar trading tournament for coming in first on the plus minus percentage and that's what i've been trying to do but i just don't feel comfortable having any exposure to the market right now i'd rather see how this market plays out this morning because uh, with these all these exchanges suspending withdrawals, it's only a matter of time before we get a big dump. And right now we can see in the two hour time frame, the same thing we talked about yesterday, still relevant. Can we hold these areas and make a push up to 427? We talked yesterday how we would likely, the best spot to buy in would be around that 36 cents or the 373 level, depending on where it wanted to hold, but it broke right through the 373. And now we've had a bearish cross. And I don't trust crypto this morning. This almost looks like it went into a topping reversal pattern now. Very discreetly overnight. And now if it breaks this 36 cent, 35, 8 mark, this could have a big drop down to that 33, 32 level. But with everything that's coming out, and yes, it could absolutely be FUD. And there is a big W reversal here. But sometimes, just sometimes, when you don't have enough mojo in the market you get these w's and then they reverse down and you get these big hanging m's that it ends up playing out so we're going to see this morning if that's actually what's going on but i don't feel comfortable with crypto this morning not by a long shot and what i'm going to do is i'm going to clean this up a little bit so that we can get a 
out into the future look about what is actually going on with this pattern. Now that we don't have to guess anymore, this is the actual pattern setup. It's revealed everything we need to know, and that is actually your pattern. So right now, we're looking to hold a 372 just like yesterday, and we talked about it. if we come down to the 372 layer, that would be the best spot to long it if it holds it, or the ideal spot to short it if it breaks through. This looks like hell. I don't know if some of this exchange news is starting to make its way around the headwind, but crypto reversed very quickly last night, and it's on the backs of this block fee, salt, and Genesis exchange this morning coming out saying that users' withdrawals are halted. So not as much money is going to go into crypto if you put your money in crypto and you can't take it out when you make a profit. Makes no fucking sense to do it, and that's what's going on this morning. That is the news, ladies and gentlemen. I showed you the XRP chart of exactly what's going on, but that is the news this morning. And if XRP maintains its descending triangle, yes, 42 plus is up here, 424 to 427. But on the bottom side of this, you're looking at 30 cents, the bottom of this pattern. So we're going to see right now because I feel like this is a very dangerous game today. Whether you're longing or shorting the market on a liquidity setting, it's a very dangerous game. There's a lot of FUD in the news. And a lot of these exchanges say they weren't going to halt withdrawals and then they just hours later come out and halt them anyhow. So be very, very careful. Be very careful where you trust your money on crypto. And everybody's like, oh, just keep it in a wallet. Well, that's great if you already can store your stuff in a ledger or whatever. But you have to, you have, to have the XRP or the liquidity to buy it or your other cryptos to send it to a wallet. It's not just, oh, let's send it to a wallet. You have to have the proper liquidity on hand, on deck, on an exchange so that you can buy it when it comes to the right times. Everybody makes it sound so simple. Oh, buy XRP, and then this is why I got out of Ethereum Classic at twenty dollars and seventeen cents, even though it didn't hit my stop at nineteen seventy nine or nineteen sixty nine. It felt like with all the stuff I was reading this morning, I would take the twenty eight or thirty dollar loss and just call it a day. Because these are starting to look very bad, and the way that they've reversed today, it's going to call into jeopardy these levels, like the nineteen sixty nine. I believe that level's breaking now. Yesterday I thought I had a chance. Today I don't. Not, not now. Not after all the FUD I'm seeing this morning. So that's why I always say when you're trying to figure out how to trade the market, just because you get into a position doesn't mean you can't bail. So what, you lose 10 or 15 bucks. It's better than losing $1,000. And you test the market, and once the market does what you don't want it to, you get the fuck out. Let me say you got to hold on to things longer than even 10 minutes. This is a very volatile market, and if there's one thing I can teach you this morning is stop with the optics. The truth is, year over year, the producer price index was terrible. Just because the news spun it good because it came under expectations. One, who the hell are these experts? Who the hell are these experts putting the prices? Two, do they have your best interests at heart? I think not. Because if they're trying to make the uh, economy look like it's not contracting, what are they going to do? They're going to put out a very high number for it to hit year over year. And then it comes slightly under it and they say, oh shit, inflation's ending, producer prices are going down. It's all horse shit. They did the exact same thing with the CPI last week. And everybody ate it up on Thursday. Then it quickly reversed. Same thing happened. But now with all these crypto exchanges going bankrupt and canceling withdrawals, that is a black eye for crypto. It doesn't matter what anybody says. This is a black eye for crypto and it makes it a lot harder. Everybody says, oh, it's the black swan event. Bullshit. This has been seeing, this has been prophesized by not only me, but by other people as well that aren't fudsters. I know there's very few of them, but they've talked about this. I've talked about this exhaustingly, extensively. This is not a black swan event. If anything, it's a white swan event because it's things that we could see culminating into one big disaster. This is a series of misdirections, and poor execution that is now piled on top of itself. And now we've got what we have. That's a white swan event. It is not a black swan event that came out of nowhere and was unpredictable. This is fully predictable and it came out of, uh, it didn't come out of left field, folks. This came right up the stairs and everybody was standing at the top of the steps. Let's be honest. We all seen it coming and everybody just kicked the can down the road. Well, when you kick the can down the road, this is the kind of things you happen. When you don't have regulation, 
with how exchanges are used, this is what happens. And I don't want regulation. Let me be clear. I don't want regulation in crypto. If you regulate crypto, the free flowing money bags, casino style atmosphere goes goodbye bye. With regulations, instead of having these 30, 50, 200% swings in a day, you might get a percent in a week. If it gets real grinded down, I don't want that. Regulations often means a stop to the casino. I like crypto because it is a casino aspect. Yes, you can lose a shitload of money, and today some people are on 4% already on XRP just in one day. But if you play it right, this can be life-altering money. This can be a life-altering decision. But it is up to you to travel through the FUD, to push all the bullshit to the side, and to understand who has your best interest at heart. I have not missed a day in almost 20 months. I have not lied to you. And I do not speak FUD. I tell you the truth. And hopefully this morning, this update found you all. Hashtag, the FUD stops here. Yes, XRP Future Millionaire is fuming this morning. But it's because of all the bullshit that I'm hearing circulated once again this morning on YouTube. And once again, how the bottoms are in. With the market and economy and the conditions we're in. If you think the bottom's in... Well, your bottom is going to be out because you're going to be fucking bankrupt. Take that to the bank.